back on a Friday morning with some of the investigation into a mysterious death of two sisters from Minnesota during a dream vacation in the Seychelles. This morning, their family, desperate for answers, is speaking out for the first time, and autopsy results have just been released as well. NBC's Janet Chamlin is following this story from Minneapolis. Janet, good morning. Savannah Mack, good morning to you. Yes, these are just in, and they indicate that both women died from excess fluid in the lungs. Now, that can develop in a variety of ways, anything from pneumonia to exposure to toxins or drugs. And toxicology reports, which would reveal more, are not in yet. It has been more than a week since these sisters died, and family here say they still have very little information from official sources. This morning, the mystery deepens on a remote tropical island in the Indian Ocean. The Seychelles Islands, among the most luxurious vacation spots on Earth. But for two sisters who grew up in Minnesota, the trip was paradise lost. Annie and Robin Corky were found dead in their $1,800 a night villa last week. Resort workers say the women had to be helped to their room the previous night after a day of drinking. This morning, their brother Chris telling NBC News, the family is devastated, everyone is in shock, and we're just looking for answers. He also told us his mother and brother are now in the Seychelles to press officials for information because, he says, we've been told very little. 37-year-old Annie worked for J.P. Morgan Chase in Denver and was on a figure skating team there. And 42-year-old Robin, a trader in Chicago, were self-described best friends on the trip of a lifetime. They'd been traveling almost a month, starting with an African safari, then moving to the island chain, staying at the exclusive Maya Luxury Resort and Spa. And he posted this photo from the private pool of her hillside villa, writing, it's indescribable, seriously. Local police report the women were found in the same bed with no signs of violence or trauma. Calling them seasoned world travelers, brother Chris Cork, he says, they knew how to take care of themselves. And the sisters were just two days from returning from that vacation when they died. Family members are now trying to bring them home, but there is no timetable for that. Matt and Savannah, back to you. All right, Janet Chamley, and thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.